Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new player of the month, Bruno Fernandes, to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is 5 foot 10, high, high work rates, 4 star skill moves with a 4 star weak foot. Now, if this card is anything like his team of the group stage card, I already know this card's going to be an absolute monster. He's actually gotten to the point where you could actually potentially use them on the sides as well. If you're playing with like a 4-2-3-1 and you want to use them as a right or left attacking mid, he can actually play those positions and play them really well. Reason being for this is because this card nowadays uh, with the shadow chemistry style is such a rotational player. Like if you want to play like a 3-5-2 and you want to have him on the left mid or right mid position, he'll be able to do that for you, especially since he has the 99 stamina with high, high work rates. Like this is a rotational player that you can play anywhere because the 84 finishing when he already has 98 long uh, long shots shot power uh, volleys at 94 penalties at 99 the card's shooting is amazing already right now for base card stats every time they increase the card maybe if he gets a team of the year later the base card stats for shooting and dribbling will be increased even more right so it's just a very very good card to have in your team for that rotational concept just in case you know any given situation in the game you want to play him in cam center mid right mid left mid you could totally do that with him right so uh in regards to his in games 82 acceleration 80 sprint speed we are going to be boosting that either with a hunter chemistry style or a shadow right shooting on the cards at 91 attacking positioning 84 finishing 98 shot power 98 long shots passing on the card for base card stats is amazing you don't have to necessarily improve that uh dribbling on the card here's the thing about bruno fernandez's card right is that his dribbling is actually not that bad because his reactions ball control dribbling and composure is so high right because they're in the 90s he actually dribbles well in game. You still feel the 85 agility and the 85 balance. You can still feel it, but the game compensates for it with the other stats that he has, right? Uh, defensive stats for base card stats are very good as well, right? Again, if you give him a shadow chemistry style, it's just a very good rotational player to have in your squad. Uh, physical stats on the card, he's got 71 strength, 76 aggression, and 99 stamina. 99 stamina is massive to have in a game like this so we just put a random team together here uh just to kind of test them out uh we're going to be using the 4231 because 4231 is the best formation to review most of the cards right so we're going to have this team set up like this we'll have Hyungman son as one of the cdms why not right rafinho switched off with coleman right there with bruno fernandez playing in the middle right we can actually tell him to come back in the fence and it won't be an issue because of his defensive presence right so we're gonna have this guy on stay central boom 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 well, actually uh we'll keep this guy and just balanced offer that extra attacking support and then the tactics will be like this on balanced and i'll do this balance five and three perfect yep that should be good to go yeah, so I'll try him on the cam position. I may rotate him into other positions. Like I said, guys, this card is the type of dude where any position you use him in the attacking and defensive areas will be good to use him in. Like, it's not one of those cards where he's very linear to specific positions, right? So we're going to go ahead and slap the Shadow Chemistry style on him right now. That way we can actually test out his shooting presence, passing presence, all that kind of stuff while we review the card. So let's get into a game and see how he plays. Oh, this is an interesting camera angle. It's like really uh, deep. You know what? I'm kind of down to try this out. It's such an interesting camera angle, actually. Like, oh, look at it. I'm like, oh, hello. Little pass off. Fake shot. Touch. Strike right away. Beautiful stuff. Nicely done. Bruno Fernandes, man. Like, I'm telling you, this guy is so cool to use in that cam position. Again, like I said, guys, shadow chemistry style to be able to rotate him into any position is going to be really, really nice, man. Shot from that angle. Oof. We almost worked that angle right there, man. Almost. Give me that. Let's see what his dribbling is like. See? So it's the reactions and stuff, the reactions, ball control and whatnot that actually compensates for it so well that it's not actually a nuisance at all to have it the way that it is, which is pretty cool. Well, a classic example of how to intercept.
I like his weighted passes. They're actually super nice. Weighted pass again. Fake shot. Get into position. First time strike. Beautiful stuff. Love it. He's attacking AI, man. It, it, it was funny because when I reviewed his Team of the Group stage card, it was uh, very similar in regards to that too. His attacking AI is really smart. Like uh, The important thing with strikers moving to the sides in those positions is that when you make that pass in that area, your cam starts to transition into the middle areas inside the 18-yard box to go for that first-time strike and stuff, right? So it's, uh, it's always really fun to have players like this that move the way that he does. Again, well-weighted pass. We'll try a shot with his right foot there. Doesn't work out. Obviously, you have to take some extra touches, but really, really well-weighted pass with this card for sure. If this card gets a team of the year, he's going to be absolutely nasty to use in any team. Let's make that run there. Nice. Love his passes, man. His passes are so freaking nice. The visitor's possession stats are brilliant. Oh, I thought I was going to get that uh, rainbow flick off with him there. Give me that movement. Penalty? Oh, he actually got the ball there. Wow. So I couldn't tell. The camera angle is a little bit different. I'm not used to it. Um, nice, though. Let's see. Let's see what's up here. Well, dribbles. Work that side space. Well-weighted pass again. Look at that. His passes are so nice. Aggressive right there. It's very similar to his Team of the Group stage card. If not slightly better, right? Obviously. Heel to heel. Touch. Shield. Ah, oh, just want to see what the shield was like there. The guy did get ahead of me, so it made sense that he got the ball there, but... This card's nice, man. I like it a lot. Middle run. Nice. Little body feint. Touch. I really just wanted to work that finesse shot angle with him, you know? I wanted to take some specific touches, make the player kind of overcommit into certain areas, and then we shoot that opportunity and we score. You could see that that type of shot, though, it wasn't uh, like, hey, I have a finesse shot oriented. It was like, I could take some good finesse shots because my shot power is really good and my finishing is decent, even if you don't improve it, right? So I think in general, though, if you were to give him a Hunter chemistry style to boost the finishing on the card as much as possible. Um, I do think that he could probably hit them more consistently because that shot power being the way that it is, um, I think is incredibly beneficial for a card like this. Ball roll, touch, pass. Ah, That's why it's important to have strikers that can pass the ball really well too because situations like that will happen as well. I tried to do a drag back, didn't really register there, there, there unfortunately. But um, yeah, the card's obviously incredible, guys. This is a, Like I said, this is the type of dude where you can use in any of the positions, and he'll play any of those positions well, you know? Make a run right there. Touch, touch. Oof. See? Dribbling. You could still tell that he has that agility and balance that he has, but he just responds super well to it because of the other dribbling stats. See, he actually makes those attacking AI runs really nicely, too, just in those general positions. Uh, what I want to do next with him, obviously an incredible cam to have on your team. If you guys put him in the cam positioning with a shadow chemistry style, this guy will do work for you, okay? Um, I want to try him out in the 4-3-3 uh, formation this time. So we're going to switch to that. I would say it's going to be the... We can use this one for now. Why not? We're going to play him in the right center mid position. Yeah, instructions will just be for this guy. Yeah, just cut pass lanes on him. The rest we're going to keep on balanced. Actually, we're going to have these guys to cut inside, get in behind. I want them to cut inside because I want it to influence uh, influence uh, Bruno Fernandez's off the ball movement, right? That's the reason why I want to force that. So let's go switch to that right now. We'll see what's up. First time strike. Oof, beautiful stuff, man. Almost got that there, too. Bruno 
Ah, oh, I just wanted to try a finesse shot under pressure right there. It was okay. You can tell he doesn't have the uh, the traits, but... Nicely done. Get that finesse shot angle with Kingsley Coleman's right foot. Beautiful opportunity. Yeah, I wanted to see what his dribbling was like under pressure. Bad turnaround pass by me, in all fairness, but we'll get that ball there because Varon is Varon. Touch near post. Nicely done. 4-3-3 is, uh, is a really good formation, by the way. Is it kind of allows you to open up the space a certain way because of your over-committing fullbacks, you know? There we go. He worked those oncoming attacks. Not a great pass by me there. I should have just kept it going right now. There you go. Nice little defensive presence there with uh, with the homie G. <laughs> Scoop. Ball roll touch. Oh, still have it. Nice little sticky. Makes that run. First time strike. Beautiful stuff. See, that's why, man. High, high work rates. You make those passes. You have good attacking AI. He goes into the positions really nicely. I'm telling you, man. A card like this is so good for that rotational... Uh, aspect man really really good all right guys so final verdict on the bruno fernandez card is that guys he is an amazing card to have in your team right with this card on a shadow chemistry style it's a card you can put in any of the positions he offers a great defensive presence and a great attacking presence right if you want to rotate him literally into any position you can actually do that right you can even use this card as a fullback if you really wanted to right it would be a huge waste but you could totally do that if you wanted to right um Here's the thing with this card. You give him the acceleration and sprint speed boost. His base card stats for shooting is already good, to, like, of course, because of the way that the shooting mechanics work in the game this year. His passing is already really good. His dribbling is already really good because these things right here compensate a lot for these for the agility and balance being as it is, right? But then you, you boost his defensive stats as much as possible with the shadow chemistry style. And he even has like a decent physical presence with 99 stamina, right? This card has great attacking AI. His defensive AI is great. He plays well in the center mid position, the cam position, secondary striker, left mid, right mid. Like, it's one of those types of cards, right? So cards like this are always worth getting because of how they perform in game. You guys can see from the highlights the way that this card moves on the pitch, the way that he defends. It's a very, very nice card to have, man. It's The biggest things is that he has the high, high work rates, the four-star, four-star. Like, he just has everything that he needs to be a very good card in this game. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. And boys, girls, thank you guys so much for the support on the last video. I really appreciate it. I had to kind of like let out that steam. I meant every word I said. That's how I am as a person. So I appreciate you guys uh, supporting and stuff, man. Uh, it means a lot to me.